Hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Nordic Citizen Cup. We uh, are here with the last match of the week. And it is none other than a battle between Ostade from Orland Islands and Birkir from Iceland. I'm Ash Ketchum, and I am joined here by Hypno Spirit. How are you doing? Hello, I'm doing perfectly fine. Very excited to see this match as well. 100%. This is the island showdown. The, the sort of a low population island showdown. <laughs> I thought you said Ireland showdown. I was like, is there something about these players I don't know? Yes, they're uh, all Irish. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is the uh, Irish four digit cap cup, actually. Uh, Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt there's even an Irish three digit to begin with. In any case, uh, Birkir is being seed 17 and Ostari being seed 11. So there's a six seed difference there. Uh, Kind of, kind of big, but not too big. Like, still definitely potential for upsets. Uh, Ostar obviously being the uh, SS farmer, and Birkir relatively new to catch. Uh, well, I mean, he plays every now and then for since like a year and a half ago, but this is his first Osu catch tournament, and I believe it's also Ostar's first, if I had to guess. I also think so, and I want to point out we see Ostar deciding to pick second, actually. That is true. That is true. And the first ban being hidden three, obviously, uh, from qualifier results and previous match results hidden, not Ostar's strongest mod. So hidden three makes a lot of sense as a ban, and Birkir banning no mod one. I feel like that makes sense against a player like Ostare, who is a, an SS farmer. You know, a no mod consistency map like that would definitely favor Ostare, I think. Yeah, I'd argue that at this level, Ostare might be the most consistent no mod player in the tournament. So it makes mm. perfect sense to get rid of that map. Indeed. Now, Hard Rock 1 is the first pick, actually. I can say that Bitkit has been practicing Hard Rock a little bit. A little bit of inside info there, so... Not too, not too surprised to see this pick, especially... I mean, he must have done his research as well, because if you look at the round statistics, obviously, Ostari played yesterday. On Hard Rock 1, Ostari got 723k. I'd say that's a beatable score, so pretty smart pick from Bitkit. I would agree, I would agree. That definitely seems like it is how you say that Birk has done a little bit of uh, studying here. But a strategy planning, you love to see that. It does show that they're taking the tournament a little bit seriously, planning out their uh, their match a bit. Indeed. Indeed, and we will see from both players at performances here just how seriously they're taking it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as, in, as in, like, implying that they're only taking it seriously if they get a good score here. No, obviously <laughs> not. But it's going to be interesting nonetheless to see. Hard Rock 1 now. Pitkiss pick. Yeah, we're going to get underway here. It's calm beginning. An early Mr. Mostare. It is very early on, though, so it doesn't necessarily mean a lot. There's a trade from both players. Yeah, and as I've mentioned before, trades favor whoever's in the lead, but Birk is going to find a miss there. Gonna give an early advantage to Ostari here. Ostari trades right after though, well, not right after, but shortly after giving back the lead to Biscuit. So far... Okay, go on. So far, no clear lead from either player, both struggling a little bit at the start. Indeed, Ostari finding a miss there though, as Biscuit holds on, so that's gonna give a... a little bit of a gap to Biscuit. I think Ostari found another miss there actually, so... And another one from Ostari. Birkir trades this time, though. It's gonna keep things as is, then. It's like Birkir found another miss there as well, though, but... Combo difference is not enough, especially as Ostari misses there. And it's back to Birkir. So far, this is looking like a pretty good uh, pick from Birkir, honestly. Yeah, I was just about to mention that. That only seems like a, a solid choice, but there's still half the map to play. Indeed, only about a 50,000 point difference. Anything still up for grabs here. Both players holding here now. Over 100 combo. Yeah, both players have been holding on for a good bit here, but Birk is going to find a miss there. Indeed, and now Astaria building up a really solid combo here. It may reach up to 200. He I does. I do believe Astaria needs another miss from Birk if he's going to find one of his own. Lead back to Birk. No, uh... Was not able to uh, 
capitalizing that opportunity that Osir had, especially not as they find another miss there now. Last quarter of the map, Bitkit in the driver's seat, Bitkit in the lead, having built up a really solid combo of his own here near the end. Misses right there, though, but about a 50,000 point lead here now into the slow part. Another miss from Bitkit. Oh, but that miss from Osir definitely seals it, yeah. And then they're gonna trade, just as you said, and that's, uh, that might be the dagger. Indeed, it looks like Bitkit's gonna capitalize on his own pick here. Indeed, especially after that pick or uh, miss from Ostari, sorry. 1 at 0 to Bitkit, starting things off as well as you uh, could hope for. Yeah, Ostari does improve from their score from yesterday, but not enough to beat Birker on this pick here. And actually, Seed 17 getting the first point here against Seed 11, Ostari. I don't think a lot of people are expecting this, but Bitkit with a smart pick. I have to admit. Yeah, and we see, uh, see Osara going into DT2 here, the uh, speed pick. Indeed. This, uh, this DT map, I'd say, focuses less on necessarily uh, control. And uh, it's, yeah, it's less control, more just can you tap and react, basically. Yeah. Which I think, le I think it leads to more comfortable patterns to play. But it, it is 100% a speed check at this level. Yeah, like you say, the patterns are a bit more comfortable, you know, you don't have to, like, do those micro movements that you would on DT1 or DT3. Uh, it's more just, like, can you, yeah, can you keep up, really? Not yeah. to uh, reference the KSI song from 2017. <laughs> That's such a bad reference. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Not a reference I expected uh, from today, um, so thank you. <laughs> uh, can you keep up? <laughs> <laughs> always nice being surprised. You Whether it's me. positively or negatively in this uh, situation, I do not know, but we will be getting into DT2 now. Thank god. Uh... <laughs> there we go, 450 BPM when you add DT onto this. This time it is Ostara's pick. Hoping to, uh, hoping to capitalize on his own pick now after that uh, first point from Bitkid. Yeah, I gotta hope that they can find a good pick of their own here. Uh, but Birgit's gonna have a spinner advantage. A yeah, slight spinner advantage from Pitkid there. There he's holding the uh, full combo to start things off. Oh yeah, both SSing now. Oh, Pitkid finds the first drop. Oster trades right after. So, uh, oh, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, no, especially after that next miss from Pitkid. Star is gonna keep the lead. Another miss from Pitkid. Yeah, that's gonna turn things over to a star right here. Only slightly though. Yeah, it's not a big lead by any means. It will keep growing though if Ostari uh, keeps holding. Oh, they do, there. Yeah, they do trade, which is gonna mean that Ostari keeps a score lead. Maybe this from Pitkir though. Gonna keep Ostari in the lead. Only about a 43,000 point lead though. If Bitkid's able to hold here and uh, Ostari finds some misses, it could turn back over. Bitkid finds a miss, but it's traded by Ostari, and I think there was more than one miss from Ostari there, actually. Yeah, Ostari chain missing a little bit, actually. Another one there from Ostari, but Bitkid trades right after, so uh, things stay as they are. Bitkid finds another miss there. Yeah. So far seems to be a decent pick from Ostari, but once again, I want to say the map is not over yet. Halfway through here, things are looking better for Ostari, though. Just based on how well they're able to hold combo and accuracy, and now Bitkid finds another miss there. I'll start up to 200 combo. Yeah, looking looking more comfortable for a star right now. Finds a miss there though, and another one. Yeah, well, star is finding a few misses, there, and Birk is holding on to a combo. Into the last third of the map, if Ostari finds a couple more misses and Bitkid hold, holds, and you never know. You never know. He's still start holding on a little bit now, but Birker's doing the same. Picking up a really solid combo here near the end, except not anymore. Just gonna lose it there, yeah, just as you say it. I think there's a term for that. I think it's called witchcraft? Um, Something like that, yeah. <laughs> uh, I see Ostara holding a uh, relatively impressive combo of their own. Indeed, indeed. It looks like uh, Ostara's gonna be taking this one here. This kid had some openings, you could say. Had, it, had his chances. Trade the right at the end. But a 60,000-ish point difference. 
maybe even 70. 70k between them here, and Ostara is going to be taking his own pick now, making it 1 to 1. No breakpoints. No breakpoints as of yet. And it is interesting to see what Berkey decides to pick now. Can't go back to the hard rock pool yet, obviously. Oh, tries to though. I like that. Yeah, Goals. I mean, always trying to, always trying. Maybe Test the, the system. Person, yeah, maybe the ref, ref forgets. I mean, this is, uh, this is what I raised my Icelandic voice to do. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> try Test and the cheat system. The, yeah, try and cheat the system. Is that what you do in Iceland as well? Is that a... Hold on, the referee actually uh, did not... <laughs> yeah, lucky, yeah, we need to get that sorted, I think. Uh... Oh, no, no, double picky. <laughs> <laughs> Just tag the ref here. Not allowed to pick Hard Rock. Again. Good attempt though, I like it. Like I said, I respect the hustle. It is, like I said, maybe the ref forgets. Uh... Uh... Ref? Referee? Oh, they're starting going oh, no. oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is, uh... Wait, 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 wait. Abort, abort. <laughs> no way he's going to get away with it. No way. We, uh... Probably some difficulty here, folks. Um... Uh... Uh... Okay, well, I mean, they're starting on the <laughs> Yeah, we'll see what happens. Um... Oh, God, the referee has not seen our message yet. Uh, it is such a short map, it would be a shame to have to... Have to reset yeah. to validate the point, because they're already so far in. I would feel bad for the players, but I'm not too sure. Oh. Do we count it? Do we not? That is the question. I, I'm not sure. I wasn't expecting to encounter this predicament today. I feel like it's, uh, I feel like aborting now would be unfair to the players. Maybe we should... Oh, man. It is rule-breaking, though. Yeah. This... The client did freeze, and it okay, they, seems like there was an MP over. Unfortunately for the players. I feel a bit bad for the players there, but... Yeah. Yeah, both of them are confused. This did happen in Ostara's match, though, where I, I don't know if it was Ostara or their opponent that tried to double pick, but was reminded then that that wasn't allowed. We apologize for that. On behalf of the ref. Yeah, this this does happen. Uh, we are all it's human. It's only human. I mean, in the moment, I could also just forget. I could easily forget if I was the ref that. Oh yeah, they're not allowed to double pick. Exactly. Those for hidden two instead of hard drug two. Sensible pick, considering we saw the hidden three ban from Osada. Indeed, and looking at the qualifier results, Ostari actually got 23rd out of 23rd on all hidden maps in the qualifiers. So perhaps a weakness, you could say, on Ostari's side, and Biscuit hoping to exploit that a little bit. However, hidden 2, we've seen it before, uh, it's uh, the hidden main killer, as ACL likes to say. You don't really have to be able to that good, uh, you don't really have to be that good on hidden to be able to play this at a solid level. And actually, Ostari proved that in his last match. Getting a, a pretty solid score on this, I think, about 897k, exactly, yeah, so... Despite yes, his uh, hidden scores in the qualifiers, this is not a map that he necessarily is too bad on. Yeah, and I also want to point out that while Ostara got very low scores in the qualifiers on hidden, they also played hidden one yesterday, and then got roughly 768,000, which is also a big improvement for them, so... That is true. That is true. We shall see what happens on Hidden 2 here. What happens on Hidden 2 stays on Hidden 2. That's what my grandpa used to say. Very, very wise grandpa you have. They called him the modern Socrates. In any case... The Socrates <laughs> of Iceland. The Socrates of Iceland, yes. Uh, Hidden 2 now, <laughs> getting started here. I think Birgit is kind of comfortable on Hidden. I don't think he uh, struggles too much on it. Uh, 
stage. We'll have to see how things go for both these players here. Obviously, this, the slow start is crucial to hit. Can't afford to yeah. miss on that one. I do think they got an identical spinner, by the way. Looks like it, yeah. Looks like uh, there's an equal spin here. Oh, in a match like this, on a map like this, you can imagine the nerves could be, uh, could be quite high. Yeah, the slow part of this map actually takes up a big portion of the map. Indeed it does. About half of it almost. And here we go. Getting now into the actual build-up section. Both players holding the SS still. A no breaks yet. And now the second half. Things start picking up. Bitkid finds the first to miss, actually. Yeah, and Ozdar is holding on to the full combo as of right now. Double Sing even. One miss from Bitkid being the difference on this map is so short, almost into the last fourth of the map here. Ostari finds a miss of his own. He does indeed. And Birk is holding on, but finds a miss there. Oh yeah, now because the guess of this map is so short, Birk is going to have to hope for one or two more misses from Ostari here. But it's approaching the end already, and there's another miss from Bitkid. Yeah, it's not looking too good. Another one there, Ostari trades, but it's too late. Yeah, we see our first breakpoint of this match here, going in the favor of Ostara. Good going for the hidden strat against Ostari. Didn't pay off well enough, though. Seven misses to seven, just that combo spread a lot better for Ostari. Yes, indeed. And it's interesting to see what Ostara decides to pick now. Nomad at two. They didn't waste any time. No, just straight to it. I mean, Nomad one banned from Birkid. Uh, is a nomad specific obviously so going for the other nomad specific here that's left kind of makes sense it does make sense um and you obviously know the icelandic players better than i do how is birkir on nomad like as a whole as a whole i would say they're they're decent they they struggle with slow stuff okay and uh this is obviously air 8.7 so I think this is a smart pick from Mostare, whether he knows it or not. It does feel like a smart pick. This is the custom map, though. Uh, obviously, I have to do the uh, legally obligated shout out to Cake Noob for making the custom every time it's picked. Yeah, big shout out to Cake Noob and big shout out to the other custom mappers that we will see in future polls. Indeed. Worth noting that the map will showcase for the quarterfinals is actually scheduled in about 40 minutes. So make sure to uh, not miss that. It's going to be huge. No, I want to miss that. I, I don't want to see. Thank you so much for those kind <laughs> words. <laughs> We're getting started now with Nomad 2. Yeah, one thing to point out. Yesterday, Osad only got to play one of the Nomads. That being Nomad 1. So we haven't gotten to see Ostar on the thing we expect them to do the best on. Not too much at now. least. Yeah, here we go. Nomad 2. The happy sort of precision-based specific. There's holding on. Working 200 combo now. These happy sections here are difficult, but it is the first to drop. And Ostar is holding on as we approach the key eye here. Indeed, it's just that one miss from a bit kid or two, perhaps. I'm not, not too, uh, too confident on that. Being the difference here, both players hitting this section here. Oh my god, yeah, yeah both players stumbling through it. Actually, quite impressive. But kid finds his second miss there, but Oster holds the SS right now. That is super impressive. Very well played from Ostara right now. What a 100,000 point difference as he holds the full combo. Birkid's not even playing that bad. I mean, this is one of the harder maps in the pool, I'd say, and. Birkid, just not, I mean, against an SS, you know. And there's not much you can do, really. It is a pretty short map as well. Star finds the first miss there, though. But it's definitely not enough. Birkid's going to have to hope for a lot more, not of his own, as he finds one there. Yes, indeed. They're going to approach the second key eye soon. With Osada having a slight combo advantage. A really big score advantage, it has to be said. Good defense, another miss there before that spinner. 
it looks impossible for Burkina now to uh, be able to retake the lead as Astari spearheads his way here through the ending. Just that one miss. Astari's gonna make it 3-1. to one. Does miss there, right before the ending though, but... It's too late to make a difference. It is too late, and once again a good pick from from Osada. Um, picking something that they were very... Probably felt very comfortable on and showing that comfort as well. Indeed. Now, Bitkit is allowed to pick Hard Rock 2 now. Uh, if he wants to go for that again. You are correct. They are allowed to go into the Hard Rock 2. And yeah, they <laughs> don't hesitate, really. Go straight to Hard Rock 2. Yes, and now they are, in fact, allowed to. So, uh... <laughs> we we can't say anything about it this time. You can't be aborting it mid match now. Just for fun, just uh, <laughs> pull them out of the map. Imagine. What happened this time? Oh, sorry, misclick. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I accidentally typed an exclamation mark MP abort uh, as I face planted my head onto the keyboard, and it just randomly put those uh. Combinations of letters, and I'm so sorry. Yeah, I hate when that happens. It's, uh... Have you heard of that monk, uh, monkey Shakespeare theory? Uh, no. If you if you put a monkey on a typewriter and make him type something like random for long enough, he will eventually type a whole Shakespeare novel. Oh yes, I have heard that. Yeah. Uh... And you could say that the monkey would eventually also type exclamation mark MP abort. <laughs> That's what they should name the theory. The uh, the monkey MP abort. Um, experiment. That is true. Anyway, we are about to get into Hard Rock 2 now. For the second time. <laughs> yeah, for the actual uh, proper time. This is a really short map as well. Uh, much like Hidden 2, I think they share uh, the same length actually, uh, without drain time. In drain time, I think this one's 139, so it's actually a little bit shorter than Hidden 2. Yes, indeed. Now, this is one of those maps where you absolutely have to practice it to do uh, to do well on it, uh, or at least to full combo it. Oh yeah, there's a memory jump hidden in there somewhere near the middle, but Ostara actually found the first miss there. It's an early lead for Bitkit. Created by Bitkit though. I think he found another miss there as well, so that's going to give the lead to Ostara. Very early on though. Early doors. Are correct. The memory jump is coming up here, and neither of them hit it. It's gonna be a trade there. Gonna keep things as is. That's slightly from Mustaria now. Gonna change, I believe, with that miss though. And another one from Mustaria. That's definitely gonna flip things over here. This Biscuit is able to hold. A couple more here. Yep. Back to Absolutely. Biscuit. It is in the favor of Birkin now, and we'll start finding another miss. So the score is gonna increase even more. Lead keeps scoring now for Bitkid. He built up a pretty good combo here, all things considered. Getting up to 205 there, and Ostarik finds a miss there, so yeah, the lead is only going to get bigger here for Bitkid. Looks like he's clearly practiced this quite a bit. Ostarik, miss after miss now. Bitkid trades finally, but that 100,000 point difference is massive, and another miss from Ostarik. Looks like Bitkid's definitely going to be taking this point. Definitely. Uh... You can see why Birker wanted to play this as early as they did, looking at the score advantage they have. For sure, almost a 100,000 point difference, 3-2. to two. Now it is Ostara's pick again, and they do have a uh, point advantage here. Once again, not wasting any time, going straight into DT1. No wasting time there, as you said. Double time one is the pick. ET2 double. did go into Ostara's favor, so... A double time modification number one. Of the numerical type. Yes. <laughs> um, just, just wanted to add on to that, I'm sorry, I don't even know if that makes sense. Uh, no, it, it, <laughs> I, it made sense to me. Um... <laughs> 
But yeah, Double Time 1, the song is Sekyu no Igreya by Kokomi. Mapper is Sekre, but the difficulty is mapped by Hyperion. JB Hyperion, JB Hyperion. We've shown a lot of appreciation towards JBH in this pool, um, which I do believe, unless you guys were trolling, he has been reminded of. Indeed. In fact, I tried reminding him, or not reminding, uh, like letting him know that we have three JBH maps in the pool. And then he was like, oh yeah, Sisif already showed me, so. <laughs> <laughs> Two of us. Yeah. I mean, he should be proud. He should be proud. It was his birthday last week as well, I believe, or this week even. Well, happy belated birthday to JBH. Yes. Turning 47. 47. That's not true, but I just... Uh... Just an evil joke. <laughs> it's crazy that people born in uh, nineteen in nineteen ninety nine are now forty two years old. Actually, did you know that? I did. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy how time flies. Uh, anyway, we are uh, in DT one now. <laughs> DT one here. Yeah, Birkir early misses. Starry still in the full combo. Starry looking a lot more comfortable on this. Has to be said. Yeah, seem to have a. Uh... An advantage on Nomad and DT. Finding a miss there, though. If Bitkit is perhaps able to adjust a little bit more to the DT ladder movement here, and we'll be able to build up a combo of his own, then things could change, but no. It's not the case, as they find a miss there. Lead Ostari stays that way. Yes, indeed. No, I actually haven't built up to uh, above 100 combos. Ostari drops there, actually, and Birkit has a pretty solid combo. He's uh, able to keep holding. The score is definitely going to get closer now. Halfway through the map here. Oh, but yeah, Birkit drops. Finds a mystery, yeah, and Ostari's going to trade it, but Birkit's going to have to hope for more misses from Ostari, as well as finding more consistency themselves. Another miss from Ostari there, though, looking, uh, looking like a good start. In the correct direction at the break here, about a 35,000 point difference, 35,006 to be exact, thank you, mathematics. And now the spinner here, Birkit has the combo advantage, so if Ostari finds another miss and Birkit is able to hold, it could change. It absolutely could, as we enter the last quarter of the map. They're still holding combo. 30,000 point difference here. Oh, both players holding. This is making me nervous, I won't lie to you. It's gonna be tense up until the end. Because one miss from Ostari could change it. And Ostari finds that there miss. This one. Able to hold. And I believe it will change over here. He just has to hold. No more oh, misses. Okay, finds, finds the, the miss. miss. Oh, it's so close though. 10,000 points. The end is tricky. If Birkin is able to hit the, hit the end, and Ostari is, isn't like that. Oh, but it was too but late. It was too late. a miss of their own. It's too late, but it actually got really close there at the end. Bitkid was able to hold on for a little bit longer. It would have been his point. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case, and an 11,000 point difference there. Sorry, 4 to 2. 4 to 2. It is Birkid's pick, and they're going to have to really pick the correct map here. Hidden 1. It's going to be interesting to see what happens in this map now looking at ostari's last match they did get 768k on hidden one and i remember i was casting that match they said in the chat that was one of my best or that was my best score by far so therefore perhaps if Bitkit knows that and he's uh played the map of his own and he knows he can get a better score than that maybe this is not a bad pick hidden two is obviously quite a different map to hidden one uh Hidden one being more sort of less sort of uh, less I don't know stream pattern like just, just more just hidden you know just more hidden <laughs> I feel like hidden too you don't really need to know how to play hidden because it's like 50 seconds of slow part that you can hit and then streamy fast patterns hidden one is just pure hidden yeah and I I think this map is very comfortable to play overall at least I think it's very it flows very nicely and it just works very well indeed. No, uh, no massive variations either in the patterns or anything, so it's very consistent. Indeed, as we are about to get into the map here.
And here Third we one. go. Ooh, an early miss from Birkir there. I mean, I, I think I've missed on that note before, actually, when I played the map. <laughs> yeah. Easy to miss on it, honestly. It starts off pretty fast there. Another miss from Birkir, though, as Oster holds combo. Not a good start for Birkir. Not at all, but this is one of the longer maps in the pool at 334. Anything could happen. Are we gonna drop there? Ooh, more than once. Birkir gonna hold combo now. Lead to Birkir. Ooh, Birkir drops, but I'll start trades right away, so it's, things are gonna stay as is. I think Birkir won one more miss, though, but... when another one there. That could flip things over only slightly. Or yeah, it, it's slowly... Uh, the finding a miss there is gonna... A bit quicker to uh, flip it over, but Osara's gonna find a miss of their own. That was slight combo advantage to Birkir. I wonder if it's enough to uh, put things over, albeit... I mean, it's gonna be close either way. Yeah, it looks like it's dancing over to Birkir now after that spinner. Ostari looks like uh, was able to etch out that spinner just slightly. But it's so close here. Yes, indeed. It Both players trade there, so it's gonna keep it very close, though. I think there was a two miss trade, in, uh, in fact. Like, I think they both missed the same two notes there. So, uh... Exactly equal. Birkir misses there, but Ostari trades right after. This is incredibly close. I miss from Ostari there. I keep on. I think. I feel like I keep on switching between Ostari and Ostari. But there's another trade. Ostari is what I'm gonna stay with. And another miss from Ostari there before 20 combo. So Birkir still in the lead. Only slightly though. I miss from... Birkir finding a miss there. And another one. It looks like. And another one. Now Ostari. Ostari holding combo. This could be a chance for Ostara to build up a lead. A I miss was... right there. Yeah, Ostan, sorry, Ostara does find a miss, not Ostan. Um, <laughs> as Birka holds on to a bit of a combo now. And now a chance for Birkir to build his own lead. Especially after Ostara found that uh, other miss. Another miss from Ostara now. Birkir with a pretty decent combo here. And yeah, they're gonna break. get a break here, yeah. Seeing how close it is. Oh my god. Birkir knows what he needs to do. Hold and hope, the double H. Ostari has to do the same, but instead of uh, hoping for not missing, he has to hope for a Birkir miss. Birkir has actually built up a solid combo here near the end. Gonna reach 200, it seems like. Ostari misses there! Yeah, and the score advantage is gonna be, uh, get even bigger now. Now 260 combo. Wasn't able to build a, a solid combo uh, at the beginning of the map, but here at the end, able to get a really solid score, a solid combo. Over 300 now. Started building back up to 100, but it's too late, I think. Yeah, it does seem to be too late. Seems like it now. This bit good. 370 combo. Gonna make it. Four to three. He is still in the game. Yes, now it is Ozdara's pick for the match point. Not allowed to pick DT anymore. Uh, Hard Rock and Nomad are still available. I think it's just Hard Rock 3 and Nomad 3. I believe those are what's left, yes. If you were Ozdari here, I think Nomad 3 is the only pick that makes sense. Indeed. Yeah, that is what they're gonna go for. Only convert maps left. True, actually, yeah, only convert maps left. Nomad 3, I'd say, probably favors Ozdari a little bit here. Uh, on Nomad, obviously. Yeah, and it being a convert, something that Ozdari has played many of. It's true. I don't know how how avid of a convert player Birke is. Uh, not too much, I think. But and on a map like this, I don't think they should necessarily struggle too much. I reckon 800k plus is doable. Any more than that, I'm not too sure. We'll have to see. Yeah, and if like we have to remember, it's a tournament setting, tournament setting, and you 
a bad run can happen to anyone at any point. Looks like Vitkiss is going to be playing hit in one still, though. Never mind. <laughs> to each their own, I was about to say. Uh... <laughs> Getting started now with a Nomad 3. Match point for Azari. He could finish things off here. Or we could see this match going to tiebreaker. Do see both guys holding off through that little, little bit of tricky stack. Indeed, both players holding the SS till Birki is the first to drop there. Just one miss. Pretty early on. Yeah, it is still early doors, as you say, but this map is also sub two minutes. Players looking at their own scores here. It is match point for Ostari, so Birkir must not give up. Looking at Ostari's advantage here, he must stay focused. And hold and hope, like they say. Oh, another miss from Birkir, though. That could be costly, though. That could only be more costly. misses from Ostari now. Ostari does find one. You need more than that. Getting to the anti-flow, both oh, right there. Very close. Uh, Birkir's very close to hitting it, though. It's very close indeed, and... Actually, I think Ostari has found more misses on this map so far. It's just the combo spread being in Ostari's favor now. As things are, Ostari still leads. Against the last lead. order of the map now. Getting into the slider jumps here. And Birkin missing the last one. I think that could be it. I think that could be the dagger there. Indeed, it looks like it. Yeah, about a 100,000 point difference now in score. The end of the map here approaching. It's gonna be five to three to Astare. It is in fact gonna be five to three. Has to be said though, really well played from Birkir throughout the match. Oh, absolutely. Should be very proud of how they played uh, both last week and this one. And look at that, four misses to four misses, just the combo spread difference. But not enough. Astare was able to hold a better combo, and. Uh, Finish out the game there. That means that Birkir is going to be leaving the tournament in the round of 16. And Astari will be moving on playing against QBC from Sweden next week. Uh, Birkir had his chances. He played well. And uh, I'm proud of him. But that is the end of the road. For my fellow Icelandic countryman. Astari will be moving on. Congratulations. Congratulations to Ostara. Good game. Well played to both players. Uh, and I hope we see Birkir next year. Indeed. Now, the map will showcase will be in about 22 minutes, uh, but for now, we're going to be ending the stream here. It was the last game of the weekend, so thank you all for watching. I've been Ash Ketchum, and I've been Jordan Hypnospira. Thank you guys for watching, and see you later.